it's a new day. Um, I do have a red eye, as you can see. I uh, already cleaned it out and um, it doesn't hurt. I can still see, but it's still a little bit red. I've just set up for a newborn session with a little girl and like the base colors are, I like them, uh, light yellow, um, like mustard yellow and then uh, like, you know, the, the scent colors kind of like the natural earthy tones. So that's great. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to start off with and um, i to take my cardigan off, put my hair in a bum, and then I'm all ready to go. Hair in a bun, not in a bum, because that would be weird. But anyway, so I have the same macro lens, and I think I'm getting better at it. Um, I think today I'm just going to use my one body, and then uh, just change lenses in between. Because um, the last time I changed trigger and SD cards, but I still have to put like the lens on the body before the session and take it off after the session. Uh, because otherwise it doesn't fit in my backpack so if i'm changing lenses anyway why not do it only once during the session and then i don't have to change anything else so here you can see everything ready backdrop i have a little outfit here um and like little matching pants the little teddy bear some headbands you know in some cool dusty colors uh camera and then the macro lens is right there heater Baby Shusher, I have it hanging in the back here. Baby will still hear it. Ooh, there's a mess behind. I won't show that. Um, so yeah, speed light set up. 1 slash 32. The only speed light for the newborn session. Here I'm going to create something. And then here, I thought it would be fun to use this yellow basket. I painted it yellow with some chalk paint. And I have a felted layer. I'm going to style it later. Um, so yeah, the flocatis are all back clean. Looking all fluffy and clean. Near, I have some items I'm gonna style later. So uh, we're ready. So at this moment, I don't offer products. I only offer digital files and that's it. So nothing tangible. Um, and sometimes I hear a year later when the clients come back for a cake smash session that they haven't done anything with the newborn photos yet. They haven't printed anything yet. They didn't make an album yet. So they're still just on their computer. I've had clients which computers have crashed and they were in tears because they thought they'd lost their photos forever. Um, I still had a backup so I could send them again. But the point is they haven't done anything with the photos. And the reason why I love creating art is because you can, you know, enjoy it in your home. The kids can look at it when they grow up. They know they're loved. They know that they belong there in that house, in that family, because they see photos of themselves hanging on the wall, they see albums. My kids love looking through their albums. Uh, we can sit on the couch and we just go through our albums and it brings up memories. Um, they really love it. It helps them to remember uh, people, maybe people you've lost if they're still on photos. You know, the kids will remember those people, um, just activities that we've done, the holidays that we've been on. When they see the photos, they remember. So I think photos are just a great way to capture moments, to capture memories uh, that will last hopefully a lifetime and even longer. But anyway, so I started thinking about maybe offering products. That means that I will also change my prices and packages a little bit because of course the products cost me money. Um, so if they are included in certain packages, then I am going to increase my prices to cover those costs. I want to give people an experience and something that they can show others. Also, when you are as a photographer in charge of printing your products, you are in charge of the quality. You can um, <clears throat> you control the quality. You control what the image or what the product is going to look like. Sometimes, if you print uh, somewhere in a store, they put like a yellow filter over it, or like the image becomes really red or just really like a high contrast, low contrast, uh, you know, darker, lighter, brighter. Uh, it can really change the image depending on where you print it. And then if that work is displayed in someone's home and other people see it and they know that you took the photo, but the image looks awful because it's completely orange, um, it's not a very nice representation of your work. And you've put so many hours hard work into creating beautiful pieces of art. And then uh, if it doesn't look very pretty in someone's home, not really fun so anyway i have here 
Haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna open it now. A demo album. So, I might wanna offer albums. So I ordered one just to see what it looks like. It's a small one, um, but the quality I think is really good. So these are all images from one newborn session that I've done uh, in the last month. I just selected one newborn session that had uh, sibling shots as well, parent shots, uh, you know, newborn shots on different backdrops, props, so people can have a real idea of what it would look like. Wow, it's really pretty. Super sharp. It's, it's like a book. Okay, so I'm gonna show you up close. I haven't opened it yet, so this is gonna be my first peek at the album. It's from a, a printing company that only supplies to photographers, which I really like. Oh, look at this. So it's like lay flat paper. It's thick paper. That's really pretty. So I designed the uh, album. I think I would do that for the parents as well, because if you let them decide which photo on which page, it's going to take a long time before you agree on what the album looks like. And if you do it as a photographer, um, it'll be a surprise to them which photo is on which page, but I mean, it's like an overview of the entire session. It looks absolutely beautiful. Good quality prints, thick paper, lay flat, so you can have a photo uh, on both pages as well. That's beautiful. Here you have something like a finished product in your hands. Uh, I love this size because people can actually like take it with them. So you can put it in your purse, you can, you know, take it with you in your diaper bag. It doesn't have like a cover, so yeah, it can damage, but um, it's, it's quite a thick album, I think. Um, it looks really nice. You don't see the fingerprints, so that's good. Not on the photos either. Like, I think you can even like wipe them off, but of course you don't have to. And they're so super sharp. The photos, really beautiful. And I love that it's like light, lay flat paper. It's thicker paper. I think I've chosen the matte version. I think you can have like shiny pages as well, but I prefer matte so you can look from all angles and see the photo. I'm just, I'm more like a matte kind of person, not that shiny. I don't use highlighter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow, I think it's really cool. I'm gonna show this to the parents today and, has, and show it as like uh, an example of a whole session, but also optional product that they can order through me. I still have to decide the prices. Um, that's for everybody themselves to decide because of course it's not only the product, it's also um, the time that it costs you to make the design of the album, um, to actually order it. Maybe you have it shipped to your home and you pay shipping as well. Then maybe you wanna check it. Uh, repackage it, put your business cards in there, maybe a nice wrapping paper, nice ribbon, whatever, and then send it to the clients, their home. So again, uh, shipping fees, but just the time for you to check, like quality control, to check the product and to repackage and to make it look nice. Um, include all that time as well when you create your fee. It's not just the cost of the album, but it also, you wanna pay yourself a fair wage and include the time that it costs you to make it. I love this product, very cool. I have another product from the same company. Uh, yeah, so yeah, they only supply to photographers, which is great, because then the clients cannot just order it straight from that company. Uh, but I have this block set system on the wall. There to my newborn area. You see on the wall, the collage. So yeah, that collage there with the blocks is from the same company as well. And I think that's a really cool product to offer to customers as well, because they're like wooden blocks that you can take off and put back on. Um, so you can change the design, you can change the, the order that they're in, you can remove blocks and replace them after a while if you wanna have a new photo in there. Super sharp. Look at that. Very nice product. So maybe that can be one of the products that I could offer. And maybe like a canvas, but high quality canvas. I also like these uh, photo blocks, like these wooden blocks where you have a photo on, you can hang it on the wall or you can place it somewhere like on a dresser, for example. Uh, it's nice for kids' hands as well because they can pick it up, look at it, walk around through the living room if they drop it. No glass, doesn't really break. 
and then you can put it back on the counter and the child can be all proud looking around like walking around with his or her own photo showing it maybe to the people who are visiting your home but they're magnetic you paste them onto the wall um, I have them at home now as well they don't fall down So yeah, I might change my packages, my prices, I don't know yet. I'm still brainstorming about it. I'm looking at what other photographers are doing, but also thinking about what I would be willing to pay for such a cool experience as a newborn photo shoot and then having these awesome products in my home. Um, so yeah, it's always something that you have to really think about. Like uh, we pay a lot of taxes here as well. Um, you pay insurances, you have your equipment, I rent the studio and I spend a lot of time, you know, also emailing the clients, uh, sending them all the information, um, booking form, letting them choose the colors for the session. Then of course the session itself, but also an hour before I set everything up. Afterwards I have to clean all the stuff again. Um, then I have time, you know, selecting the photos, editing them, uploading them in the gallery, sending the password, communicating again with the clients which images they want if I order albums for them I need to design the album you know there's a lot of time involved as well so you have to kind of like calculate back what your hourly wage should be and then um, how much you should charge but it's an interesting process uh, but I thought I would share this with you at least some products that I'm considering offering to my clients uh, but first I'm going to show this album today to my clients and see if they would like something like this and then I'm gonna see if I can offer it maybe for a few weeks as a separate product that they can order separately from the session and then maybe later include it in some new packages that I want to create and then the packages might include some digital files they might not uh, there's always the option to purchase more digital files but then there would also be packages which would maybe include one of these albums or a photo block or something like that so if you're really interested in what you are doing, are you offering uh, products or digital files? What would you prefer as a client to receive? Um, are you considering maybe changing what you're offering now as to and then what you want to offer in the future? Um, you can do in-person sales as well where you have your clients come back to the studio. You can present the images maybe in a slideshow and have them decide on the spot or yeah, just have them decide then what kind of products they would like. Um, I don't think I have the time to do that, like to have them come back to the studio. Also, sometimes I have clients coming like two, three hours away. They live in Belgium. They come here for the session. They don't want to come again uh, to order their products. So then maybe online they can uh, select, you know, what they want. I don't know yet. Still have to think about it.
Okay, so we just finished the new wearing session. Uh, the parents really like the album, so uh, they might want to order one separately. I don't know. But um, it's a really good way to explain the parent poses as well. I could really show them how to hold the baby. Um, so it's really good as an instruction booklet as well to have like a demo album in your studio. And then if they're interested in buying an album from you, you can always um, sell them an album. So always good to have. And I'm really happy with the quality. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. And then uh, hopefully you'll see me in my next video. Bye bye.